Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell. So, like I always said, I know I got some uh, people who are fanboys and didn't like what I had to say about my, in my previous episode about Nintendo and what I think they're doing. Um, <clears throat> but it is uh, the reality of it. And to the fanboys, I say this, okay? I love Nintendo, okay? Uh, but you need to understand that in any anyone who's a fanboy out there for whatever company, if you want to better it, you need to call them out on their shortcomings, this was obviously a horrible choice. Before the 5.0 release was released, everybody was operating their system perfectly. Once the 5.0 update came out, people started getting it bricked. There's a reason behind it. When Nintendo in the pre, uh, you know, in the, before they did pre-sales and all of that, they had an announcement even in Nintendo World. Every rep you could have asked, they all said the same thing. The Nintendo Switch is universal, and it's not. It was now it's it's shifting over to to, you know, being using only their uh, products. And now there's some loopholes and I'm going to get to that right now. For example, this one by Antic, OK, was a battery uh, add on. Now, the thing is, if Nintendo wanted to do something like make their own brand, I remember the old Nintendo seals, the golden ones. Why not release battery packs that are awesome? Why not release things, even if you want to charge an arm and a leg? But you guys, you know, the Nintendo Nintendo lied to its customers by giving them the impression, of course, every rep even said it, uh, of theirs, especially on opening day, that it was universal. So everyone went and got, you know, extenders. They, Nintendo saw all of these you know, other docks and all of that. But guys, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, it's only the docking stations. No, people. Anything that gives it power could contribute to a brick. In fact, in the forum, as I always do, extensive research before I release something, this isn't an assumption, when you look it up, you can see that in the forums, people even said, not in this uh, specific model, because this one is working for me so far so good. I mean, I'm trying to brick mine so I could try to fix it and duplicate it. I'm, I'm still trying to... Uh, fix my friend's um, uh, uh, Nintendo Switch, and once I obviously uh, you know know how to do it, I'm gonna re release a video on that. But there's a lot of people that reported even their battery banks bricked their system. Okay, so there's something to worry about here, people. This isn't a, a conspiracy or anything like that. It makes total sense what they're trying to do. They came out with this with only uh, with, with their update with one intention and one intention only it is you know to update it to go against hackers sure they released a little bits and pieces here and there with like facebook and twitter and all of that like it really matters the point is they released something that guards them now they have every right to do that but they have to think about the customer i understand uh, they're on eggshells right now with customers, with third-party developers, and with, you know, uh, pretty much uh, anybody, really, at, at this point. Nintendo is walking on eggshells, pretty much. But the thing is... What they don't realize is if you w look out for your customers, the customers are the ones that are leading to your sales. And the more sales you have, the more the third party will run after you. The more other, uh, you know, organizations, uh, the investors will run after you. And I know you guys are walking on eggshells for sure with the investors. I know that for a fact. So I understand why you're looking out for them by doing these things, but you also have to look out above all of them. You have to look out for the, your customers, especially the ones that first started out. Now, I contacted Nintendo, and a lot of the reps uh, there uh, that I contacted keep sending that copy and paste message. So you keep sending, keep sending, till eventually I got a message back. They said that they would return it and exchange it upon, you know, <clears throat> investigating that it actually is. Now, those of you that ran out of the warranty, some, uh, from what I heard, they will investigate it. You know, you'd have to send it back. They see what it is, you know, to make sure it's not water damage or anything like that. And they would actually give you a refund. But if you realize what's happening right now, before they came out with this update, what they should have done was, I know they don't want to make a recall announcement because that will make investors pull out. That will make third-party developers look, you know, they're walking on eggshells. I get it. But the thing is, what you guys should have released is um, the saves option first. If you would have let people save their options, uh, you know, save their games and stuff like that, and then if something were to happen, and then release that update and warn people, guys, you know, because again, you guys have no quality control. You could clearly see that when you release the 2K WWE, 2K18, you clearly could see that you allowed games to come out without doing any type of quality control whatsoever. And people could blame w, uh, you know, 2K, uh, WWE or 2K. Yes, it's their fault, but overall, it's Nintendo's fault. They gave the green light. You have to understand that, guys. You can't 
correct them. If you saw Apple, for example, didn't advance till people started to call them out on it. Then they started to advance their technology. They started to do a lot of shady practices also, like make the battery, which everybody already knew, but now it became public, made the battery not last long, made, it, made the new OSs kill the, kill the battery faster so you'd be pressured into buying a new one. Okay, so every company is doing these shady practices, and if you have fanboys that are fine with it, they're never going to correct it. They're going to continue on with this nonsense. So you guys got to realize that what I'm telling you here makes sense. It is the truth, and you can investigate it and see it for yourself. I'm not here preaching just for my own good. I made this channel. I work. I, I, this isn't my job here. I'm doing this. The reason I opened this channel is to warn people because I've been tricked by fake reviewers. You understand? So that's why I'm coming out with this stuff right here, what I'm about to say. Okay? So, like I said, extremely shady practices by Nintendo on their account. Now, I, I don't think they did it in the terms of greed, where they intentionally wanted to sell their own stuff and, you know, make it out of, out of greed. I think they truly wanted just to attack the hackers once they saw Linux was able to be operated on it, they immediately went to work and trashed it. And now they're coming out with a revision to chip. Obviously, everybody knows this. This is now public. I said that they were going to work on a revision, and I was right, and they do. They work on a revision too, and it's coming out, ladies and gentlemen. It will be coming out, and I think that is the one that they want to push. If you remember, they did the same thing with the PSP, if you remember that. So... Anyone that kept the original PSP in top tape, you know, condition, except you had hackers who made uh, what was called custom firmware. So they were continued, you know, you could continue to uh, update the firmware and play the new games. But in this case, you're going to be pressured into getting this new revision too. Now, they're not going to do a recall, but you're going to see that slowly, slowly, they're going to make games probably that are a little bit tougher and push you into that market a little bit uh, faster than the norm. I mean, I, like I said, I think they're coming out with a better version of it way later down the line. So basically what it is, is they are coming out with these uh, with the new Revision 2, and they're going to be pushing people into the Revision 2. It's as simple as that. The Revision 2, the main thing of the Revision 2 is going to be strictly to be anti-hacker. As you know, they, they came out now with a chip that can be completely anti-hacked. Of course... Hackers will find their way eventually, but that's what it is. And because of this little tiny war, uh, you know, to make sure that they're not being, you know, uh, hacked and all of that, they cost a lot of customers. A lot of customers already in the forums are saying they lost their game saves. They don't want to continue the game save, you know, the, the game all over again. So they they refunded their money. They got their refund. Those who were stuck with it are stuck with it. Some of them even that are stuck with it are selling it on eBay, and you can look it up because they don't want to have anything to do with it. And all these Wii U people, especially like my cousins and everybody else. They didn't want to jump into the next one because obviously most of the games that are out for it is already out for the Wii U. For example, all these remake games like Bayonetta 1 and 2, uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, or uh, you know, all of these games, are uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild even, is, is on the Nintendo Wii U. So these people, portability is not an issue for them. Okay, for me, I love portability. That's why I got this. If not, I don't see me upgrading to that, to be honest with you, just yet. Uh, as I told you guys before, I advised you, if you look at my back video, I advised you guys, I said, wait till they come out with the next version before you jump on this wagon, if portability isn't an issue. For me, portability is a big issue. I love being portable. I'm on this train all the time, and I like doing that. So that's the issue behind that, and that is the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because I am speaking the absolute truth, and I don't want you guys wasting your money on bullcrap. Okay, what Nintendo did here, whether the fanboys agree or not, is shady. Okay, it's horrible, and it's an attack on its clients, on its customers. All right, it's an attack on the customers who gave them the benefit of the doubt, even though the Wii U stunk and you know sunk underneath, they still gave them the benefit of the doubt and bought this system. Okay, and now you're gonna screw them over by, uh, by releasing this update not giving a crap about them, not even bothering to, to make a public announcement about it. I mean, that's the reason I told people to wait on it in the first place. But now a lot of Wii U people are saying, and you can look at the forums, thank God I'm not getting this crap. They're all saying that right now because of this issue. They'll probably wait, like I said, for the next, uh, the next one that's going to come out. Not the revision 2, but the actual uh, part 2. There's no need to do it if there's no portability. It's simple as that. That's, the, uh, that's a fact. And you could see a lot of people. I'm not the only one that is saying that. So like I said, I love Nintendo, but it's like every other business out there. They're going to eventually do some shady practices. And if you guys don't call them on it, 
they're going to continue on. So let's go right into this. Can you use third party? Yes, you can. Now I'm going to tell I'm going to show you guys some things uh, that I learned online, and I wanted to share it with you uh, uh, for that. So give me one second here. So what happened is I went and got me a anchor, okay, um, a wire. Okay, so obviously the wire that comes with it, you could use it, right? But the docking station, uh, you know, if you're using a third-party dock, you know, do your do yourself a favor, throw it away ASAP, ASAP, because most likely it will not work ever again. Or just, you know, uh, put it on the side. Maybe they'll come out with something. I, don't, I doubt it. But uh, that's what you do. If you need, uh, you know, uh, uh, just get a regular dock. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's a plastic pile of poop that costs seventy or eighty dollars. They lowered their price to seventy. Wow. I mean, for a piece of plastic, really. I mean, or you, what you could do is if you have a 3D printer, you could print out your own docking station. I actually printed out this little docking thing here, but it doesn't have a connection to, uh, uh, you know, the uh, HDMI. But you could, you know, you could, you know, do the chip and do it yourself. There's, there's plenty of ones you could get. If you're not techni savvy, just get yourself uh, a docking station from Nintendo, 70 bucks, bite the bullet, what am I going to tell you, uh, if you're still keeping the system, those of you guys, uh, you know, those that didn't brick it, of course, uh, uh, so that's all I got to say about that, those who did brick it, all I have to say is I'm working on a solution, if I do find the solution, I will air it on here, and put a video out, so the thing is, what you guys need is what is called 56, okay, K, O, H, M, Okay, that's the thing which they didn't tell you. It has a, uh, a pull-up resistor. Okay, now the reason why is like that you have a constant flow of energy. Now I'm going to explain to you what that means because I work, I do a lot of stuff with, uh, you know, with technology and all of that stuff. So I could tell you straight up right off the bat exactly what that means. If you guys look right here, uh, I don't know if you guys could see it. You see there's like a, a line here, kind of like over here it's perfectly clear. And over here, it has like these little, um, I don't know if I could get this in focus. This is crazy. Oh, right there. See that? Has that little thing there? That means no matter who tells you it's 56K, it's not. Uh, and the problem with this is, even though some people don't have issues with it, like I don't, uh, eventually these things separate uh, a little even, and what happens is it might not give you the regular uh, you know, voltage. Now, these things also, because they don't have resistors... Uh, some of them, uh, I'm not going to say all of them, this is from Samsung, so it does, but I'm just going to say, I don't think, uh, obviously they're not 56K, but the thing is, what happens is, it's a constant flow of energy will be given, you know, through it. Now, if you have that little crack there, and it is 56K, uh, you know, and they claim there's a resistor or whatever, that still can pose uh, an, an issue, because if it does separate or something like that, whether it has a resistor or not, it could still, you know, have a up and down with the voltage, which eventually will fry your board. It's as simple as that. So I got me this. They're three. I got them for fourteen ninety nine. Okay, they're not expensive at all. Fourteen ninety nine off of eBay. You could just look that up. Look up three pack anchor. A N K E R power line USB C to USB 3.0 cable, three feet, 56K OHM pull up resistor. I'm going to put that all in the description for you guys so you could just copy and paste that into uh, your, um, you know, uh, into your uh, eBay uh, search or even Amazon, I'm sure, has it. And they give you three of these, okay? So they're not that expensive. Okay, this now I'm going to show you has no lines on it if you look. Get that in focus here. Oh, trying to get it in here. Oh, it's such a drag. Oh, cannot get it in focus, guys. Um, but as you can see, no lines here whatsoever. Oh, here we go. No lines. No lines. Perfect. You see, and right here, that's obviously the USB 3.0. Now, as long as you you could just get 56k uh, OHM. Uh, pull up resistor, you know, cable, and and that's it. May, uh, I like to get it from America. I would not buy from China a dollar, uh, you know, wires or anything like that. I naturally don't do that. I just don't think they're good. I think that it could all cause problems for any electronic out there. But the thing is, most of these uh, docking stations were made in America. Had great, uh, you know, were even on the, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Toys R Us. They were in other places uh, that had uh, third party adapters. Not Toys R Us. What the heck was that called? Some toy stores, whatever, I forgot. Uh, toys R Us, I don't think I, I saw. I saw only um, just strictly Nintendo. I think I just saw controllers. 
uh, there. But anyways, the thing is, nobody said anything. And a lot of people were talking about battery packs to the reps on opening day. And they and even they told them. And I remember I was there in Nintendo World. And they actually said you could get you could get any type of USB device and just charge it. You could get any type of thing. It's, it, it's universal. They said it with their own lips. In fact, if you even look at, at their old episodes, I think they even me- uh, mentioned that stuff. So they're full of crap. So just get yourself this, bite, you know, bite the bullets about 15 bucks for three of them, which is cool. And then get yourself a battery. Uh, a, see, this is the thing. What scares me here is this battery pack does have that line. You understand? And even though they're good now, you see that? Even though it's working great with mine and I have no issues, what happens if this thing splits? You understand? So... At a safety, it freaks me out. And I, I just don't get how Nintendo could do this. And it's just horrible. And, uh, you know, Antec has a very, very big name. Uh, a, a lot. I use it with my batteries. I even have for a lot of uh, the stuff that I use, including cameras, and have no issues with them whatsoever. But unfortunately, it is a problem. And I hope Nintendo comes out with a solution if they want to go that route. But because they, they lied to people... And, and on opening day, even in pre-sales also, I think what they should do is to those that break their, their uh, thing or anybody for the matter, just do a recall and tell people what Samsung did. When Samsung did a recall on their, notes, uh, on their Note 7, they said, we will give you two free items with your with your thing, uh, with, with your next uh, edition and a free exchange. You understand? So if you could do that, give a free exchange to the new revision. And instead of giving a free, uh, you know, two free things, why don't you make a fifty dollar, sixty dollar credit for a free game in the Nintendo Store? I think that is a perfect way to keep your your customers from leaving because right now they are leaving, and whether the fanboys like to hear it or not, it is legitimate. And you can look it up on 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 forums. There's people that are leaving. You can look it up on eBay. I've never seen so many used, okay, so many used Nintendo Switches on eBay than I ever have than now. Okay, people don't want that risk of bricking it, and they're just giving it up. They don't care about it anymore. They're scared that it's even going to brick with, you know, using natural things. So another thing, another solution is if you have a 3D printer, get yourself one of these docking stations. These are just portable docks. They don't have HDMI, but as you see, they have a pass-through. You could pass it through here, have a thing here, and it'll charge as you put it on, because I know a lot of you guys were concerned. You said you liked also the, the... uh, battery chargers that charge and you, you have a docking station so you put it into here and then you play with the controllers you know separate from the docking station so what you guys could uh, you know on the system itself and not on hdmi so you guys could do this also on uh, you could download this on thingiverse.com uh in thingiverse.com there's also another guy that actually released a dock that you could have a, a regular um uh, motherboard uh, for it and put it in there from your original one and it'll, it won't cover and cut your screen like that one does but obviously I have a solution for that as well where you can put just any type of fabric and it won't cut the bottom line is you guys are going to have to buy the docking station and to all your buddies you're going to have to go and tell, uh, and tell them to get the complete thing uh, the complete system don't buy it just the tablet itself and if you do know that you're going to spend uh, money on their docking station but to you guys who just think it's the docking station it's third party docking stations you're wrong it's also battery packs affected some people okay so there's a lot of issues there's also wires that affected some people people that used even like i did which doesn't cause any issues by the way but it will uh, they use samsung wires from their phones and they reported bricking so that's all I got to tell you guys. I am d- delivering you guys the absolute truth and my channel. That's the only reason I made this channel to begin with. I have no agenda here or no anything here. I love Nintendo. I bought a Nintendo system. I buy different technologies and I review it for you so you guys don't fall and get tricked by fake reviewers who are getting paid to say things. That's the reason I came out with this channel in the first place. If you look at my back channels, it's all about mental health and all of these things. I made it into this channel because I wanted to help out the community at large. I have a job. This is not my job. I don't care about what I do here. I'm just delivering to you guys the truth so you don't get tricked as I did. I'm doing this out of my time. So for you guys to... For the few of you to attack me and say I can't, you you don't know what you're talking about, you're you know, and start calling me names because you you love Nintendo so much, you want to sleep with with you know, make a a plastic dummy and you know, plug it uh, if you know what I mean. That's your issue, but that's not my issue. I don't deal with that nonsense. I'm giving the truth to everybody and everything that I do, and that is why I'm also you know 
telling you guys that there is third party that you could use and just make sure that they're 56k ohm as it says here pull up resistor it's only 15 bucks with uh you know with with i think it's free shipping right yeah free shipping free standard shipping i got it within three days that's all i got to say and it was an amazon thing and it was on ebay so it's cool so that's all i got to say about it now i'm going to be doing a raffle for this thing uh actually right now um I already gave out three of them, so I'm going to do this, and this is going to be uh, the fourth, I guess, right? Yeah, the fourth one. Uh, I might also do the controller one. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to be doing this, okay? So um, within the, I would say, comment, do this. Comment, let me know what you guys are going through. Let me know what you guys, uh, if you bricked it, if you didn't brick it, if you're scared of bricking it, if you have any type of issue that you need me to check out for you. I contact Nintendo on a daily basis, as I encourage all to do that, to put them to the fire so they finally improve and release a good product without doing any any type of shady practices. I do understand that they're walking on eggshells and they're trying to you know, do all these friendships and all of that and are not trying to scare the the you know the investors but guess what if you if the investors see that no customers are buying it's going to be another nintendo wii u it's going to be another playstation vita and i don't want to see that that's why I'm, I'm coming out here and talking and and making my voice heard on a bunch of forums because i want people I, I want the nintendo reps because that's what they do they look at all of this they look at your comments and they see that people are pissed off and they're going to change it you understand so write a comment down below in any one of the videos, you know, this one, any one of them. And I'm going to be doing a draw. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, uh, you know, I can only make one more. I don't have uh, many rolls, so I don't want to promise and, uh, and be scared. So it's going to be most likely for this because I'm working right now on a helmet. And when I get enough money to build another one, I will do another uh, contest. So, um... Anyone who writes it, I'll select someone at random, and I'm going to give you guys this beautiful thing right here. It has air cutouts uh, for, you know, I still got to pull out some things, that, obviously, from here. It uh, has an under here where you could put the wire, and it charges and it, this docking station here, and you could play it, you know, right on this thing. So I'm going to be giving this out. If you want me to paint this, I mean, I, I suck at painting, so I'm just going to release it like this. Uh, I'll try. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I'll try. But uh, to the winner, you know, whoever's the winner, just let me know. Uh, but uh, that's all I got to say about that. But there you go. Uh, perfect solution. Cheap solution uh, for a wire. As for the docking station, you're going to have to bite the bullet and just buy one. Or, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't even think you should download the one in uh, uh, Thingiverse, only this one. Because even if you were to buy a chip, it's most likely the same chip they're using in the third party. And if it's not Nintendo, then you're screwed. So it doesn't make even a difference. So I think you guys have, uh, you just have to bite the bullet on this one and just get it and see uh, what happens. As for the battery packs, so far so good with this one. The Anchor one, I reviewed it for you guys. Check back. I'll uh, link it in the description as well. Uh, this one I recommend. Uh, I, I don't know the longevity. I don't know what's going to happen, but so far so good. I haven't had any issue. I'm deliberately trying to break my system right now. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time doing it. So it doesn't happen to everybody, I can tell you, because I'm not having any issues with it thus far. So that's all I got to say about that. But um, let me know what you guys think down below. If anything is a problem or whatever, uh, just remember, contact Nintendo. Let them know about it, and they're going to send you copy and paste messages. So keep doing it over and over again, just like I told you with 2K, with their shady practice, and with Nintendo's shady practice. Keep going over and over again, and eventually you will get your own uh, you know, a uh, uh, a real message, and you'll see that it's totally legitimate. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. I hope it works out. I hope nobody has a brick system. And uh, those of you that don't have it yet, just be mindful. Do not charge it with any type of uh, wire that has that crackle crackle on it. Make sure it's whole and make sure it says 56k OHM pull up resistor on it or resistor in general. Uh, and you should be fine. It'll work and everything will be just fine. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. As always, uh, the only thing I ask, uh, since I'm uh, self-funded here, uh, the, the only thing I ask is that you spread the word. I don't even care about the credit. Spread the word. Let people know. Uh, definitely subscribe as many more videos are going to come out. And like this video just to show your support. Uh, and uh, that's about it. This is Lior Barrel. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.